Johnny. Uh, we're on a weekend afternoon here, and we just got word a couple of hours ago from uh, Agapito, the, who's pretty much been heading up all this paving. We told you on um, previous videos about uh, two to three weeks ago we would be a lot further along, and uh, we're just about finished. So we're going to take a ride. I got old John with me to, for some company on a nice afternoon. I uh, Yesterday I said goodbye to some great people from the States that I spent five days with. There's other folks visiting us now. Uh, and we've got some other folks uh, right just after Christmas and maybe somebody that wants to spend a couple of days during Christmas. So this time of the year is pretty, uh, pretty excessive at times. I love it. Um, anyway, Johnny, uh, what are you thinking, bud? What do you see? This is really, really, really exciting. Um, you know, just like uh, Barry said, we got the information from Agapito and we met someone else out here who's also helping with the... Uh, or helped with the, um, the new uh, pavement here, the asphalt, and uh, this is really exciting uh, to see this uh, coming in uh, to fruition. It's just uh, what was once, I believe, 25, 30 minutes to Cabrera is now going to be done in around 12 to 13 minutes, and it's just a great feeling that when people come together you can see amazing things come into progress yeah it's uh we knew it we kept on saying it and uh i want to get across remember check out the previous videos if you guys haven't because um this is the final stages of what is the main road back to the highway so uh, everybody living out in loma alta uh, you just shaved 15 minutes to 20 minutes off between your ride to Nagua or the capital, Las Arenas, Samana. There's no point now in going back through Cabrera only to pick up the main road. And I did make mention about land values. Besides the views and the quantity of water being superior uh, in this area as opposed to other areas uh, of, of our region, uh, it just made... made perfect sense for someone like myself that's been in this uh, trade for a long time that this was going to enhance and, and just uh, bring bring up values, bring more people to the area. Um, we've been spending a lot of time out here, eh, John, yeah, acquiring yeah. new properties. Yeah, also up in Pujador and uh, Pulsa Honda and Los, Caco, Los Cacaos, it's all been asphalted. It's La Capilla? Really up, La Capilla La is also it's paved, yeah. all been opened up uh, and given, value, given increase in all the value. And just, uh, it's an amazing part uh, that we've, uh, we've been lucky to uh, get a hold of. The thing is, uh, what's another good thing about it is, again, is our partners just selecting the right partners. That's a big part of it, but I, I, I want to get across, uh, John, I don't know even if you are aware of it, but I was asking around uh, while I wasn't with you one afternoon mm -hmm. with these guys, and there's over uh, 42 kilometers of new paving. Wow. In, in all of it, between all the towns you had mentioned. Yeah. It's over 42 kilometers of asphalt. It's amazing uh, what this has done. We knew the future of the outskirts of Cabrera are going in this direction. Um, and it's just wonderful. And uh, while we're enjoying this ride, while we're enjoying this ride, I want to uh, boast about something which has nothing to do with old Johnny and me, but everything will. There's a turn off into Pusa Honda. That's right. Like I say, every road here. In this little area that once took uh, Yoda to do is now paved, although that's not to say there's a shortage of unpaved roads. We've got, you know, a lifetime worth of, uh, you know, four by fouring or off-roading, but that, not to sway away from the subject. But this is major news, and I want to give a kudos to Agapito. I don't know if he'll be busy, but we may even make a little video in Spanish for all of the Spanish viewers about this. Um, I recently found out that Agapito, he didn't even tell me, and that humbleness is absolutely a, a, a predetermination to a person's frequencies and qualities, while so many of what I call lower frequencies tell to, like to brag about what they own and come out with it. He never said a word to me, and I'm his partner. Johnny's his partner. 
he donated all the caliche for the four and a half kilometers that we've been driving on and I say all of it you are talking of hundreds upon hundreds of full-size double axle loads of caliche tens and tens and tens of thousands of dollars okay and he never said a word to us we just found out about it actually and he just shrugged his shoulders and it helps us Barry and it helps everybody in the vicino in the neighborhood okay in the barrio whatever you want to call it I don't care it helps everybody that's the sign of a quality individual the humbleness not bragging about what they have and uh, uh, he doesn't even know I'm gonna say this and I don't really care if he gets upset because uh, that is something that is ex all of the base of this underneath the asphalt is all from Agapito's own pocket okay and uh, I know most of our uh, American uh, subscribers are used to miles and not kilometers so four and a half kilometers uh, let me buh, 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 you're talking just under two and a half miles of caliche for free okay so uh, like I say uh, that's really that's really here's one of the owners also just now in the in the neighborhood but I want to tell you that's really something special okay John is uh, as we uh, round the corner and head for home here um, I know uh, some of the people that purchased out here did really well already and I'm happy about that but you have any last minute words about um, what you feel about about what's going on with this? Oh, it's just a really good feeling to uh, be pretty much, I'd say probably be the first gringos as you would say to be on this uh, new road. Do you all know as gringo? <laughs> um, Go on. I, uh, I'm just very thankful uh, to uh, Agapito for doing what he did and you know bringing the community together it uh, just opens up a lot of more opportunities it makes things easier to get to access points um yeah it's just uh it's been exciting the last i'd say four to six weeks when we first started coming out here and we were told about it and starting from the top in los cacaos working away through pujador and now coming back and getting things done it's just uh just amazing i feel really fortunate bro that we're all uh, together in this with uh, manuel benito agapito yeah. you me uh leanne in charge editing these videos which we mess up all the time bless Whoa. her heart Oy! i don't know uh, how she does it but anyway this is my buddy johnny and barry out in the dr bouncing around uh, not so much bouncing anymore but uh, there's project two, bud. That's you see, right. it's we're we're right by uh, Montagne Mar. This is amazing. Anyway, uh, hey, DR ain't perfect, but it sure ain't all that bad either. Okay, and we'll catch you on the fly. We'll be with all of, all you guys at the airport picking you up. We got you covered, and looking forward to spending some quality time. Here it is. There's where the old paving was. I'm, we timed it good, bud, to end this video. Just yeah, perfect. Just Here's where it was before, okay? So everybody who's been out to see us knows what I'm talking about. That green sign up there is the sign for Agapito's Caliche Mine. And uh, there's Montagne Mar to the right, okay? So everybody, have a great day. And if old Barry seems to be excited, well, gosh darn it, I am because... This, all this has been done even before Natting Hito got paid. Exactly. We knew it. We didn't say too much about it, but we knew it. So the Proust and the Pitten, we're showing our cards now, and it's a full house. There was no bluff. All right, till next time, this is Barry and DR. Told you later. Bye. Bye.